Hi my beautiful family to another of my videos. Today I'm going to try and put some makeup on with these brushes from Jeffree Star. I bought them as soon as it launched but they'll be sitting here and I've got to use them and I thought today that I can do it. I'm getting ready for a birthday party so I'm going to use these and I'm going to create a natural makeup look that I promised in my video where I tried this blue palette. I said that I'm going to that I'm going to create an everyday natural makeup look, so that is what I'm going to do today. If you're interested, then please keep on watching. Okay, guys, I know that some of you really don't like Jeffree Star, and you let me know in the comments in my last video where I reviewed one of some of the Jeffree Star's cosmetics. And uh, thank you much for always for support and for watching my videos even if you don't like Jeffree Star. I respect your opinion and uh, thank you much for supporting me but on my channel I try different uh, I try different brands and I'm not not I'm not going in details about the persons or about the people behind um, the makeup but if you're interested to see what I think about these brushes I've watched a couple of videos some people like them some people don't like them uh, I'm very curious to see what I think myself. So let's start. I already moisturized my skin, but I'm going to do this, use this Revolution primer on my skin. I like this primer. It's black, but when you massage it into the skin, it leave this gray kind of text, gray shade on the face, but it disappears when you start blending the foundation. But it feels very very nice on the skin and, and i'm going to go in and fill in my pores with this tart pore primer i love this primer it also smells very nice and fresh so let's open this packaging you get how many seven brushes i the sponge was, it's not available in Sweden, so I didn't buy it. But I really like this makeup bag. It is very nice. And I haven't touched these, I haven't opened them. They feel very soft also. It feels very soft. And I really like uh, the handle. They feel expensive. Oh, they feel nice. Some of the people that I watched reviews of, they said it feels scratchy. On the eyelids this is the um, highlighter brush and we have one eyeshadow brush and I'm going to use this as much as I can and I forgot my um, eyebrow product but I'm going to use an um, eyeshadow for that I can't go I have my my foot is killing me so I can't go go upstairs and look for it but this one looks nice oh I forgot the brush sorry we have one more eye brush <laughs> I forgot this one so the brushes now we have all seven of them and uh, let's start I want to start with the eyes so I'm going to prime my eyelids with Urban Decay primer So I'm going to set everything or my eyelids with the Jeffree Star Translucent Powder and I'm going to use this brush 5, GS5 to, to do that. It feels soft, doesn't feel scratchy. So I'm going to use this Priceless on my crease and above my crease with this brush number 5, GS5 and the brush feels very nice, it picks up a lot of the eyeshadow and it's blending this light very nice but we'll see when we use darker shades you can't really see patchiness with very light shades so let's go in into this pinky untouchable with the same brush and go over the first one but really build it up in the crease. 
I like this one a lot. I'm going to go and take the same brush and go to Celebrity Skin. And try to build up the shade in the crease. So far this brush works very very nice. So I'm going to use uh, this um, blending brush number five and use this wealthy um, oh this one is very soft. So I'm going to take this brush again and I want to go in with the um, hmm, power this gray color here and deep up the corner a little bit and I'm going back with this number five and blend the edges a little bit I need to cut the crease and I don't have the eyeshadow for the brush for that so I'm going to do that off camera and I'll be back to continue the makeup look so I've used Jeffree Star concealer to cut the crease. It's not perfect, but who is? I don't have any flat brush to Jeffree Star brush to apply the shimmer shade. So I'm going to use Linda Halbert 3 or Linda Halbert 305 to do so. And I'm going to go into Crystal Flash, this shade here. So I'm going to go back with that power gray shade and just kind of tap it to blend the two together. I'm going to use Beauty Blender foundation in shade 2.5 and I do prefer my foundations to be just a little bit darker than my skin tone. One or two shades. Well, I destroy the palette right now. <laughs> Oh my god, I just dropped the packaging from the foundation and <laughs> destroyed the shade here. And I'm going to use this foundation brush that looks very, very nice. I'm kind of excited to try it. I know the lights are a little bit strange, it's because I'm using natural lights. I don't have my studio lights, they're still packed, and I'm going to operate the second foot so I don't want to pack them because I'm not going to be able to go up for weeks to film so I'm going to use like this sit in my kitchen and uh, try to film when I get the time so let's take a little bit of this foundation so and dip the brush into it and let's see what we can do I'm nervous Oh, it feels so nice on the skin. Use circular motions. This one feels very soft. Does not leave any streaks. So I have one layer of the foundation on my skin and let me see, it's not streaky and looks nice. I like it, so I'm going to put another coat. I see myself using the br this brush a lot to apply my foundation, I really like it. It's not streaky, it makes everything look very nice and even. Not bad. Let's use this for the concealer. I'm going to use Jeffree Star in C13. And I'm going to use this brush to blend it. I don't know if this is really made for, I'm sorry. I don't know if this is really made for concealer because it's, it's more for contour, but it's uh, hard to come very close to the eye let's go in a little bit with the dry beauty blender but it feels very nice the brush 
Sorry, I'm covering you. And it feels very nice under the eye. It doesn't pull. It doesn't pull. It's not hard. It's not. Um, it doesn't feel uncomfortable. So I'm going to set my under eye area, and I'm going to use this powder brush. And I'm going to use Jeffree Star translucent powder. Going to set the rest of my foundation with the same brush. It feels very nice. It feels kind of a little bit big for the under eye area, but not impossible to use it there. I feel like I'm very yellow right now because of the lights. So this powder brush frees feels very nice to set the makeup oh. but we'll see if we can um, but we'll contour and bronze with it and I'm going to use the blush and everything to see if we can make it work for that too so uh, let's go in with the Dallas and no. I'm going to take this contour brush and I know it's a little bit wet because of the concealer I'm going to clean it just a little bit and let's take this brush for Dallas shade to use as a contour shade Feels very nice if soft. Okay, so I'm going to use this powder brush and I'm going to go in Hula Bronzer. It applies a nice amount of the bronzer. This brush feels so soft. It's applying the bronzer beautifully. It it's not patchy, it's not grabbing or something, it's very soft brush, it picks up a lot of product, I like that, but of course you need to be careful if you use a very pigmented product, so you'd get too much of the product on the brush and then you will have a hard time to blend it. Let's go and take the other side and use this blush. We are going to mix both blushes. Mm. It's hugging my cheek. Really like this brush. I think this one is my favorite. And the blending brush. Foundation on it. Foundation is also good. Let's use this highlighter brush and take this tickle. Love this highlighter. It's I'll be using this highlighter right now, the only one for months. It's applying the highlighter beautifully. And I know why people really like this brush for highlighter. Good. Nice. I like it. I'm going to use an eyeshadow for my brows because my paint pot, or no paint pot, but the brow products are upstairs. So I'm going to use Kaya Cosmetics and go in with this shade Paris, this one. Let's. Oh, nice spoolie. This one is so thin and so precise, it's unbelievable. I 
I really like that it's sharp and very thin. This one is not the best eyebrow shade for me, but it's what I have right now. I really don't like the color for my eyebrows, but I like the brush. So let's finish the makeup look. So I'm going to go in with this celebrity skin with this brush. I'm going to take this eyebrow pencil. I'm going to go in this power gray shade, the, this one, for under eyes or under the lower lash line because I don't have any other. And pack it on there. We'll go back with this number three, I think, and blend. Go in with columns that's very bright, shimmery white shade. I think I applied a little bit too much. I'm going to use my fingers and go in with this shimmery shade here. Well, that doesn't look good, but it's what we have. So going to put some mascara on, finish everything, and I'll be back to tell you what I think about everything. So guys, this is the final look. On the lips, I have the Kaya Cosmetics lipstick in uh, Pretty Nice. I really like these brushes. I think they're soft, they work very, very nice, and you can apply full face of makeup using only these brushes. I did use a couple of other to cut the crease, of course and to, to cut the crease of course but otherwise i think i used it for everything else um and yes of course to apply here in the corner i kind of miss that a little bit very i miss a very small brush and also a flat one but otherwise i really like this makeup brush set uh, brush set i think it's nice if you like Jeffree Star or if you like these kind of brushes and you want to try them, I do recommend them. But I think you can find other br makeup brushes similar to this if you don't like or support Jeffree Star or Morphe. Brush Morphe. But I really like them and I'm definitely going to continue using them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you did, don't forget to, to subscribe and hit the notification bell. I forgot to clean my earrings. Uh, and uh, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, notification bell, and I hope I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye!